Let's explore two more laws. Let's try Charles' law, which is a relationship between volume and temperature, where temperature and volume act in a direct relationship. If we increase temperature, in order to keep equilibrium, the volume will increase. Think of a basketball on a hot morning. The ball expands and bounces more. So what we have here is a relationship of direct variation. Increasing the volume will decrease the temperature. And we also have the inverse, which is true, that when you decrease the volume, you will also decrease the temperature. So these will work in direct relationship. The Gay-Lussac law, or pressure-temperature law, acts the same way. We are dealing with a temperature and pressure relationship that is a direct relationship. When temperature is increased, particles will move faster. Faster particles means they will collide more often, thereby increasing the pressure. So likewise, we have a re relationship of temperature and pressure. When pressure is increased, temperature will increase, and vice versa. If you decrease the pressure, you will decrease the temperature. So let's look at that with the Charles Law machine. And in this case, we're comparing pressure, or volume and temperature. And as we increase the volume, we must heat up the space to increase that volume. Notice that the pressure is staying constant. It is the temperature that is increasing that is expanding the volume. So as volume increases, temperature increases. As temperature decreases, volume decreases. The same would hold true for the Gay-Lussac law, where pressure would be on the y-axis, temperature on the x-axis, and you would have pressure decreasing as temperature decreasing decreases and pressure increasing as temperature increases.